In this video, we're going to show you how to game cast with the new TurboStats 11.1. .1. First thing you want to do is check to see if there's any updates. Click on the web support update button here. It'll close the program and pop up the update page in your browser. Look at the latest version at the top. Um, down here, it'll tell you what has been added in each version, but just click on 11.1. .1. At the bottom of the page, you'll see a prompt here. Just choose Run. Okay, and as this is downloading, uh, it'll, hang on one second. Okay, after the download finishes, you'll see this menu at the bottom. Just choose Run. And you might get a blue screen that says Windows protected this PC. Just hit More Info and then Run Anyway. So I'm going to hit OK here and then Unzip. That'll unzip the program and the updates. Close out of this, close out of the web page. If you're looking to see any training videos, they're right here on the top of the web page if you want to watch the training videos. Okay, so now let's start the program up again now. And uh, let's go into the previous team and then go into the game screen. Okay, so now um, highlight the game that you want to score, uh, or you could hit Add Game. Okay, so I'm going to add a new game. I can come in here and click Browse. Now, if I've created a TurboStats uh, game for my opponent, team rather, for my opponent, I could come in here and pick that team out of the list here. And that'll set up the name and also the roster. So when I go into Live Score, you have to hit the Save Game first and then highlight it and hit Live Score. Okay, let me just minimize this. Okay, and so now we're in the live score and ready to start a new game. And I'm going to move everything over and you can minimize this other form so that you don't have to deal with that when you're live scoring. If you hit the max button here, this will fill up your whole screen. So what you want to do is go into the gear icon to set up what kind of game cast you're going to run. Now the fastest game cast we have is GameCast API. With GameCast API, uh, each fan or viewer on your game set, uh, casting page will get an instant update of every event. Uh, we use a very advanced technology on our servers, and that's the best performance is to choose GameCast API. If you haven't purchased that plan and uh, you don't, you're not on our faster server, choose GameCast Live. Okay, that will update. Uh, the page through a process called FTP and when it's up on the site uh, it will update about approximately every minute so your users may see one or two plays at a time update um, so it'll be about a one minute uh, interval between the refreshes on the live game casting page for each fan okay so I'm going to choose GameCast API then I could choose uh, whether I have player photos I could turn that off and what format they are and team logos uh, make sure the team logos is on uh, the PNG or the JPEG option will change based on how we um, which files you upload so to add a helmet what you do is click on the add logos uh, button over here and before you do that just want to let you know this update speed this should be set to one this way it will update every event if you got very slow Wi-Fi, you could slow this down. You could put a two or a three in here or more, and then the updates won't happen as often. So if you have any performance issues, if things are getting slower, change the update speed, uh, but leave it at one. Uh, and make sure if everything's good, just let, let it go with one. Uh, if you have a YouTube video or another URL you want to paste in here to put the video in, just click on anywhere in this box here and then paste in the YouTube URL and that'll be included in the broadcast. So just click right here where it says enter URL here and put that information in. All right, so I'm gonna hit add logos. And you wanna do this when the game casting is not running. So um, let me close that screen, hang on. You can hit lineup as well to get to that same screen and what you do is click on the logos for the team that you want to upload and you'll get a pick list here and so you could pick whichever helmets you want 
okay and if it's a PNG you'll get a message uh, if you uploading these logos and changing them within the same day here you might have to go and clear your browser cache and then refresh the page so if you change a couple helmets and you don't see the change try refreshing your browser cache and see if the change occurred and uh, your fans when they log on for the first time will get the latest helmet all right so uh, if it's a PNG you might get this message that's fine we don't display PNGs on this form but they'll be up on the game casting page you can also set the record up for the team that you're playing against here so let's just say these guys are 2-0 and oh, and that could show up also on the game casting page if you have any players if you have to open up or switch the rosters just hit open team here and browse and pick the other opponent you want to bring in you should make all these opponents up in advance by making a separate TurboStats team for each opponent okay so that's all set up ready to go now now I'm gonna hit the um, cast it's on API and I'm gonna hit post and then just hit webcast and so you're gonna get a couple forms that pop up okay this is a separate application called the game caster and the game caster is going to work in the background and upload the files to the server so if there's any internet problems or any crashing the application itself that you're scoring with won't crash it'll just crash this game caster now if you look at the bottom of the screen here you'll see this little cloud icon and as you're scoring you could check down there to see if the updates are happening if the game caster is still running or if, you, if on half time uh, you haven't touched it in a while you may see that this cloud is red meaning that the uploading has stopped and what you could do is come back in here and see where it says stop broadcast well you click start broadcast again and it'll start broadcasting okay and then if it's active you'll see a cloud that looks like this down at the bottom and when it's hollow that means it's waiting for an update so uh, leave that running you could minimize it here like that okay and you click on it again to bring it back up if you ever want to check the status okay this box here is part of the football application and it just lets you know that it's um, transferring data to the uploader and you could paste your YouTube file in in this location if you find out later what the file is and you already started scoring also if there's a delay in the video let's just say your video started uh, 60 seconds before uh, the game started you could put that video delay factor in here if you're doing uh, clips uh, they will line up so you typically don't change this until maybe the game's over and you can figure out what it is but um, if you start the camera streaming and this uh, game casting at the same time they'll be in sync okay and here's the path to the game casting file if you click on it uh, if you have Chrome or Firefox those browsers could load up automatically with the game cast in there um, so here's your game cast what it's going to look like this is the link you can send your fans up here or embed in your an iframe and uh, what you want to do here is uh, you know make just make sure it's running and your helmets are set up right you could test it if you want I could move this to the side and give it like a phone screen if you do shrink it down to like a phone screen it's a good idea to hit refresh once uh, just to get the formatting right but this is how it would look on a, on a phone or a tablet okay and so I could minimize this screen here or even better yet I could just put it in the background and not worry about it if my form is larger it'll still be running and uh, you don't want to close it because if you close it you're going to stop the game casting so leave those both running in the background I'm going to start scoring here I'm going to enter a kickoff okay depending on which uh, direction we're going here you could change that if you know how to use the live scoring and so who the kicker was I'll just pick a kicker and submit okay who was returned by I could pick the player click approximately how far they returned it who tackled them There's nobody there. I'll just pick them out of the list. If there's any assisted tackle. And then just hit submit. Now, if this is a good play and you want to mark it as a highlight, you could submit it by hitting the thumbs up button. 
Okay, so now we can go and check. Now see the white cloud just appeared? That means that file is being uploaded. Okay, and if you go into your Chrome uh, browser here, it should show that last event here. Kick return for 15 yards. Okay, and there's no highlights that we've marked, so it says no highlights found. Okay, and there's no players yet because nobody's done any offensive things yet, like passing or rushing. So what you want to do is uh, set your quarterback for both teams, and then when you're ready to enter the first play, just pick the ball carrier, or you could click in here and just type in the number. And if you click the location of the field, it'll give you the approximate play, right middle, and then you just click on who tackled them. Okay, and then hit submit, and go back to the web page real quick the Chrome browser and you see you have the rush tackled by number 77. If you've made an error and you want to undo it, you pick the wrong tackler, you could do undo and keep. The whole play will stay the way it was and you could just clear this tackler and pick somebody else out of the list. Okay, and then just hit submit. Now when you do that, um, let's see here if it updates on its own. Okay, yeah, see so it changed the uh, tackle here. Okay, now if you're, enter, if you're looking at a phone, you might have to hit refresh uh, for this box to refresh, right, because I dragged it uh, and made that um, change from a, 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 you know, a, la a large screen where the players are on both sides to a phone-based um, browser. Now, there's no video here. If there was a video, it would be right in the middle here. So let me grab a video and paste it in here so you see how that looks. Okay, so here I am on YouTube and I'm going to copy the URL. Okay, make sure when you copy the URL that it says the full YouTube here. It doesn't have like U with a B-E. Um, that happens when you first start your screen, but if you view the link file, you'll get the full YouTube. I don't think you need any of this feature stuff at the end here. You just you can get rid of that part. Okay, so all you need is this part of the URL. Copy it. Okay, and then I'm going to come here and what I do is I'm going to hit the cast button and then this form will pop up and then I could paste in that video file in here. Okay, and it's going to pop that up just to show you. Possible. Um, you know, it's got the right video. Uh, but now you can just recast the event. Okay, so it might not show you. It, it took it. Uh, it doesn't show it here, but if you go into the preferences, you see that that URL is in there now. And if you go and you look at your browser, you have the video now in in the browser. Okay, and you can go to passing. There's going to be an option where you could turn off uh, these players at the top in the future. Um, but if you're on a tablet, they'll be on the two sides. Okay, now here's your event, your last event down here. Okay, so you can see how this works. And if I want to put a highlight in here, okay, so let's just say we have a long pass for a touchdown. Crabtree, and I'm going to hit submit. Okay, well, I didn't hit the highlight button here, so let me undo it, undo and keep, and then let me just click on the thumbs up button there. So um, it's going to make that a highlight. And so now if I come into the Game Caster, you see that it's going up here fine. If I pop up the Game Caster, I see that highlight here at the bottom here. If I have the video synced up, if I click on this uh, event here, it will show that highlight clip. So that's just a matter of a, a timing of the uh, what we call the delay factor. And I showed you that here in the casting screen. There's a video delay. That'll put the clips in sync. So um, you might not have that when the game starts, but you could figure that out and put that number in there and everything will be in sync. That's how you do it. So when the game's over and you're in the fourth quarter and when you close out the game caster, make sure there's no time left on the clock. And that'll finalize the game. It'll put final at the top of the game. 
uh, in the GameCaster and your fans will know the game's over. So just make sure you have no time left and it's in the fourth quarter. You don't have to run the clock uh, while the game is going on. That's up to you. You could just put in the time after uh, there's any scores or change of possession. And uh, that's another way that you could do it and still get the time of possession correct. So when it's over, just hit stop webcast. If you have another game that you're going to be scoring on the same device, it's a good idea just to close out of the uh, GameCaster app and let that disappear there. This way it'll restart up uh, the next time when you exit out and open up your new team. And that's how you do it. Be sure to check the website for the latest updates. Thank you.